Hello Guild Wars 2 VR peeps, um, today I'm going to make a quick video on how to get Guild Wars 2 running in VR. Now obviously it's not a VR game, it's just it's an MMO, but with a few apps you can actually get it running in VR pretty decently and it's pretty fun if you've got a VR headset, it's definitely worth trying out. Um, I've spent hours last night trying to get this working, um, and I didn't get any luck but I managed to get it working today. Um, there's loads of information, there's actually not lots of information out there online about it and a lot of it's really out of date. Um, so a lot of information you read, you'd be like, oh I'll try that and then you find out that the app is now dead and they're not maintaining it, it's just not even being worked on and you can't even get it anymore. Um, so I've gone and I've figured out how to get this all working and I'm trying to get into one video so other people can actually try and play Guild Wars 2 in VR. Um, a few requirements for uh, doing this, you obviously need a VR headset. I have an old Oculus Rift CV1. Um, you're gonna need a probably half decent computer as long as you can run. I think if you can run Guild Wars 2 on like higher higher side of settings, you'll be okay. I typically run Guild Wars 2 on like high or max, and for this I've put it down to like medium just to get the frame rate. Um, we're gonna need the first app we're gonna need is Virtual Desktop. Um, I think you can use big screen if you want. Um, but I found virtual desktop just to be easier just to like get going and do what you want to do. Um, and you can use the mouse for the big screen. It was like touch controls, which is good. But at the same time, there's a lot of rubbish in there, like selfie sticks and crap, which you don't really want. Uh, there is some other stuff called Tridef and Vorpex. Tridef is dead. Vorpex is not cheap and I haven't tried it. But virtual desktop works and it's perfectly fine. And what we're going to use virtual desktop for is to fill our field of view and fix the view to our head movement. Uh, the next app we're going to need is called Open Track, uh, which is head tracking. And what we're going to do is tie the head tracking to our mouse so that you can basically move the mouse with your head. Uh, so when we go into Action Cam in Guild Wars 2, the head is fixed to our the mouse is fixed to our head. Um, then we're going to need something called Reshade and a 3D shader, which will give us the 3D view we need. Uh, Virtual Desktop also will be doing the uh, side by side view for the uh, the VR lenses. Um, we actually need Guild Wars 2 Hook, which is part, which is a fork of Reshade. Um, so yeah, we're gonna need Virtual Desktop, Open Track, Guild Wars 2 Hook, and then the Depth 3D Shader to go into Reshade. Um, and that is it for requirements and sort of what we need to get going. So now I'm gonna jump into the setup of how to get this all working, basically. So let's get cracking. So let's get started with um, the open track setup. Um, there's links going to be in the description down below for everything. So, open track is an open source uh, head tracking software. People use it for all kinds of stuff, like flight sims and stuff. But um, yep, go to this link. If you you'll be on this page, scroll down and get the exe. Get the exe, run it, and then you will get something that looks like this. Um, so I'm just going to go through what you need to do. The input is your um, head mount display. So pick whichever one you've got. I, I haven't tried Steam VR. I assume it just works, but I've got Oculus Rift. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be emulating the mouse. So choose mouse emulation. And then on the settings, this is what's really important is that the X axis, X -axis is the yaw, which is when you move your head left to right, the mouse moves left to right. Y axis is pitch, head is up and down which moves the mouse up and down. Direct input, uh, sensitivity is similar to that, like they're in the middle. Uh, I don't know what the default is, but that's where I've got mine. It seems to be good. Filter, no filter. Um, options, it's all default. I haven't, I don't think anything's even selected. It's all good. You can check if you want, but it should be all default. Mapping's fine. So what you're gonna do is if you pick up your headset, and press start. When you move your headset, you see how it's moving the octopus as well? So I'm moving uh, right, left, up, down. But it's also moving my mouse cursor. This is what's really important, is we're using my Oculus Rift to move my mouse. So that's a really important step. So that's set up. Um, we can probably just stop that for now. That's done. That is done. You can save a profile as well. So that is that is how you do open track setup. Um, next we'll do reshade. So if you go to the Guild Wars 2 hook link, um, as I says here, Guild Wars 2 is a fork of Reshade. Um, simply come in here, download the latest version, and open up the zip, and you should get something that looks like this. 
two folders and you're going to want to go to wherever your Guild Wars 2 is installed um, if you're worried about corrupting something you can always duplicate this folder and call it Guild Wars 2 modified or something um, so all you're going to do is drag these folders into here and that is that is done uh, once that's done you're going to want to go download the depth 3d which is a shader for reshade um, if you just come to this link and click on download zip here you'll get these files um, once you have the files for that come back into the folder depth 3d master go to shaders grab the super depth 3d if you copy that and you go to add-ons in your Guild 2 folder go to add-ons Guild 2 hook shaders and you're just going to paste it in there um, I've already got one because I've done this obviously um, and that is it for the shader setup and the tracking setup so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, set up virtual desktop now let me I need to switch over to right here we go um, mirror right let me just put I'm just gonna put my headset on so I can see what I'm doing right so as you can see let me just double check if you can so as you can see I'm in virtual desktop and I can lower the field of view so this is um virtual desktop it's basically my desktop and it's in space and I can make it bigger or smaller so with this field of view up here um, I found that like 155 is a pretty nice number for this um, that 155 as you can see kind of to me anyway I don't know if it comes across on the screen but it fills my vertical field of view which is what you want to aim for so make sure that wherever you set that to your vertical field of view is set um, this you won't see any effect on screen but this is basically almost like it is the distance to your eyes and it's actually really weird because you can set the field of view to you know sort of like that and if you move this back and forward your your eyes will start focusing and unfocusing because it is, it is actually moving it further and closer to your eye it's really it's hard to explain you kind of have to test it but you'll see if you slide it forward and back you'll see your eyes focus and unfocus as they switch between nearsighted and farsighted it's actually really interesting so Another thing we need to do is turn on headlock. Um, now, if you press headlock and it's off to the side, if you press um, F4, it will center that. So as you can see now, we've got headlock enabled. Now my head movement is locked to the, um, the screen is locked to my head. So we also need to probably move this back up to like 155 fill your field of view like that um, and we should be good just put that to 155 so yeah those are my settings 155 and 70 in fact it's funny because when I'm in virtual desktop I can't see it because that's filling up my field of view so much but that is what that looks like so now um, untick this so that's set up um, we're going to be enabling SBS in a bit but that is basically virtual desktop setup so now what I'm gonna do is jump into Guild Wars and we'll start getting that stuff set up as well right so we're loading up uh, Guild Wars 2 now for the first time uh, since you've installed the shaders and everything like that we're all good to go um, when you load to the game the first thing you're going to see is this white grey box at the top if uh, reshade is working. So you're going to hit shift F2. Um, if it's the first time you've loaded this, you're going to actually have a tutorial to go through and it just takes you through the different tabs. Uh, what we're going to do is enable this in a bit, but first I want to just test that it is working. So I'm just going to go into the game just to make sure the head tracking and it's all, it's all good. Okay, so... I mean Guild Wars and you're seeing you're actually seeing what's in my headset. So right now it is basically a a 2D screen that's let me move away from these uh, crazy things. Uh, it's actually just a 2D screen really close to my head. 
Um, it's not actually 3D or anything like that. It just it's almost like being at a cinema and it just looks, just looks really cool. So let me just move this back in like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go back to Open Track and let's just um, let me just move this here so you can see it. We're actually just going to uh, start this. So now my mouse is controlled by that. Uh, what you're also going to want to do is make sure you have something bound to toggle action camera. I've got Shift V. So if I press Shift V, now if I move my head, as you can see, uh, my head is connected to the camera and I can just move my head around as if I'm playing the game. Now I still find that I, from doing this, I still need to uh, move my mouse because as you, if you can imagine my head can only move like from like here to like there comfortably if I want to do a 180 I just move my mouse 180 and then I walk and you know keep the subtle adjustments to my head um, I thought that said Danny DeVito then I don't know why I, don't know why I read that as Danny DeVito okay so this is basically how you get now we know everything's working we know that um, the game is running okay the head tracking is working um, this is all pretty good so the next thing to do is actually get 3d working um, so what we're gonna do f first if not that I've, I've got my headset on so I'm trying to do this from memory so shift F2 and what we're gonna turn on is the super depth can you see that on the screen super depth 3d boop like so and what, what we've got now is we now have a split view of left and right eyes now, that doesn't work at all, obviously. So we need to go over to our uh, virtual desktop and you're gonna to wanna to tick half SBS and then go back into Guild Wars. And to you, I don't know if you can see this. I think it might actually, it might actually be working for you because I think it might actually be just showing you the left eye now. But to me in the game, these pages look really cool. Um, to me in the game, it is, it is three-dimensional. Uh, it's not as good as like a like a proper VR title, but it definitely has. It definitely looks three-dimensional, like more than a 2D plane. Um, you know, everything looks like it does have does actually take up space. You know, things are moving around and stuff. Um, it's definitely something you can. You know, I was thinking of like, oh, maybe I'll throw in some like shots of other places that look cool in VR, but it, you, it's one of those things that you kind of have to experience it for it to make any sense. Um, but yeah, it's it's it is really cool, and it's definitely worth checking out. You know, I'm definitely feel like I'm more in the world. Uh, you might. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention, I can't even show you, is to, to set your FOV in game to the maximum. Um, just so it, it feels correct um, but you know it's, it's really cool you know coming in here and it definitely does feel like you're more in the world than than normal you're probably gonna need to turn down your graphics settings a little bit to get this to work but that's pretty much it um, it does work and it works really well combination you get used to moving the mouse and the head you get used to it a few cons like I literally cannot see any of my UI whatsoever um, because it's fitting my vertical field of view I can't see any buttons or anything so you basically have to play from muscle memory uh, name tags are a pretty big problem almost to read the name tags you have to like close one eye otherwise they just flood your field of view so I turned all those off the scaling is sometimes weird um, like sometimes you, you a character will be really small because they're far away and they kind of get bigger in a weird way and then when you get really close to things they're too big it's it is kind of weird and like I said, you still have to use the mouse to turn. But other than that, it's honestly a really cool experience. And if you've got a VR headset and you play Gear Wars 2, it's definitely worth uh, trying out. There's nothing I can really show you because you don't have... Can two people sit on these? It's kind of weird with this guy. Look at this guy. He's like... He looks like death. And he's playing like... The harp. But he's playing the harp in 3D VR, which is cool. Um, so I will leave you with the 3D VR harp. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you try out um, Guild Wars 2 in VR if you've got a VR headset. It's well worth it and it's pretty good. You can tweak the settings quite a, quite a lot to get it looking quite crispy, even in VR. Um, if you, you're going to need some, some decent power to 
not have lag when you like turn your head and stuff like that but it's doable just turn down some stuff like i have um yeah i hope you found this helpful if you give me a like subscribe i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye